Hey guys, yet another wonderful rainy day at Stonely Farm. I think we're on weekend nine or 10 of it raining on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, Saturday's been a rain day for like weeks now, which has been a really big bummer, but I'm kind of hanging around the barn getting some stuff done today. And I thought, uh, what a great time to kind of vlog. <laughs> so I did some morning chores and, hey buddy. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, buddy? You got a middle part going? You got a middle part going? So I did some morning chores and I just fed all the horses lunch and I got Z-Man out here because I wanted to clip him today. He doesn't really need a clip uh, that we're not, we're not really like working or he's not in heavy work, however, he, I don't know if you can tell, but he's gotten really wooly really fast. The hair is just like really thick already. So a couple times, even when I've just taken him tack walking, he's gotten like quite sweaty. So I don't know, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna clip him. <laughs> Before I clip him, I thought I would try today doing a magnetic session, just kind of help him relax and chill out, just like a short session. Uh, I haven't magna waved him in a couple weeks anyways, and I thought I would do that today so that maybe he's more relaxed when I clip him. We'll see how it goes. So I know we haven't really talked in depth about uh, the magna wave machine. Actually, I'll show it to you guys really quick. This is the machine that we got um, to use on horses at the farm. I did a little online course certification training thing. I'll be completely honest that I feel like the MagnaWave machine, thankfully, is pretty straightforward. Um, it has power settings from like 1 to, I think, 12. Uh, I haven't used it past 3 at this point. Um, Z likes it pretty low, so 2 has kind of been his sweet spot. Um, obviously, the higher the power, the more sensitive it is for them um, with the uh, waves circulating so um, I feel like keeping it on a super low setting has been really successful for me the horses feel great afterwards they're not sore they seem happier if you keep it on a low setting just I am not at it by any means professional but um, I'm just gonna do a light low session I'll show you guys some little clippets of that uh, before I try to clip them today so it's pretty easy to use I literally just turn the power on and then I set the power level and the amount of time myself and then I just hit start you can stop it at any time um, we only have this one large loop I kind of like to start in the midsection um, back area personally I just kind of work my way back um, obviously their midsection is like their core and where everything internal is so I feel like it's just a good place to start um, and let them kind of relax into it. It seems like most of the horses that I've done MagnaWave on at this point in time uh, are really tight in their neck and shoulders often and so that's really a sensitive area. I don't like to start there. They can also get really sore um, in their butt and hamstrings, so also a place that I don't like to start right away because um, you want them to be comfortable and kind of eased into it and know that, um, like, I put it on myself a couple times and it just feels strange, so you can't obviously tell them what you're doing, so that way they can kind of like relax into it and their blood gets flowing and they can process what's going on. I have found that, I mean all the horses, but Z uh, was super nervous about it at first, just like the noise that it made and everything, um, but very quickly he relaxed into it and I get lots of licking and chewing out of him. He seems super relaxed and sleepy and he also feels great in his body after we do it, so all of those are just really, really great perks. Um, Anything to help him feel 100%. I kind of had to get into the groove. 
improve. The one thing, the one complaint I have about this machine is that from where I'm standing next to the horse, I cannot see the time. Um, so I kind of have to get, get in the groove of like how long you hold the loops in different areas of the body. Um, I kind of used my phone in the beginning uh, to try to keep track of the time and whatnot. Um, also, I'm, I'm watching the horse's muscles and as the tight ones uh, tend to relax, you know that they've probably had enough time. Uh, just things like that that I'm trying to be aware of. Because he hasn't been in work, uh, I would hope that there wouldn't be any crazy tight or sore muscles. He's just been hanging out and going for hacks, so um, the goal of this session today is actually just to help him relax and um, kind of get into a zen state as we've been teasing. I have found that the Magnawave has had a lot of like calming and relaxing effects on Z specifically, other horses as well. Um, so I, I feel like that's super helpful beyond all the great stuff it's doing for his body and his muscles. Um, it's just so nice that we have something that can um, really help him relax if he's having like a stressful day. He was not having a stressful day, but I figured the more relaxed and done he can be. Um, he's always like, he's always been pretty good about clipping, but um, you know, his skin is sensitive and the noise and everything. So I just figured this would be nice. <laughs> Who's being the best boy? Are you being the best boy? He's afraid of his hair on the ground, but um, I just did, <laughs> also so much yawning happening. Um, I, so I just did the first half in 20 minutes flat, which was awesome. So I kind of jumped right in because he was super relaxed and uh, we did the whole first side, uh, no twitch or anything, which is awesome. I'm really uh, happy with that. I'll throw the little time lapse in here of the first half. Uh, it took me 20 minutes flat. He was bathed and cleaned yesterday, so he's super clean right now. And um, I know you're being such a good boy. You definitely deserve some cookies. Um, yeah, so mu went much better than I would have expected. Um, considering last year, you know, you can tell a little bit, uh, maybe in the time lapse. He's he also. It seems like the apricot oil I put on his skin yesterday um, to keep the, him from getting dirty uh, may have given him some hives. But his skin is so sensitive that he's not bad to clip. He's just uh, so twitchy, and sometimes it can help to um, to. Um, give him a little sedative or twitch him and whatnot. So this is the first time I wanted to try it without anything because we've made so much progress <laughs> in our bond this year. I wanted to try uh, not using any help and just seeing if you let me do it. So, so far so good. Let's do the other half. I'm gonna try to not put the muzzle on him just because I want him to stay in this nice relaxed state, but I also don't want him to crib. So if he's gonna crib, we'll have to play. I find that, oh god, bad lighting again. So I find, so I find that uh, a lot of horses hate this area right behind their ears being done and it's not naughty, it's just very sensitive. Um, I always try to clip um, right back here though because when they get all that heavy fur in the winter, they can get a lot of funk back there from sweating uh, with bridles on. So that's why I'm a little bit picky about getting that part done. Can we put your mental on now so you can clear? He's honestly just come so far and really learned how to be patient. Um, I'm really proud of him for all of that.
That is, that is one of the spots that has hives that I think it just like really hurts, which is um, kind of why he's telling me no thank you. I know, we'll skip over that spot. Unfortunately, yesterday I was out of pink stuff. Um, I need to pick up some more. And uh, that seems to be like the safest stuff to put on his skin right now. Uh, it seems like any kind of stuff, no matter how natural it is, um, has just been really irritating his skin. So I'm kind of clueless on that. <laughs> Don't really have any good answers for you guys. Do you need a carrot? For being so good. We just finished in uh, like 45 minutes. He's definitely done. <laughs> He's like, I was perfect um, and I want it to be over right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a carrot and put him away. I'm sure he wants to roll in his stall, get his itchies out, and then we'll do some uh, chores together. That's quite a lot of hair, buddy. You really want to screw it, you really do. Oof. Can you take a bite? No, it's not really a bite. You look so handsome, you're so dark chocolate. I really can't get over how dark he gets in the winter time. Okay, time to put you away, you little goober. You little goober. So I actually just got from Reading Warehouse the neck attachment for his back on track. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I saw that um, Reading Warehouse had them and I don't even know how to attach it, but because I clip his neck, I thought it might be nice. I'm gonna pretty much wrap up the vlog here because it's raining and I can't really take you guys out in the rain with me. I don't wanna ruin the camera and uh, I feel like I've rambled on enough today. But I will uh, see you guys next week. Thanks for uh, watching me clip today. Bye.